Blum, Olive Street crosses two parallel railroad tracks as shown below. So here's Olive Street. Let's highlight that. It crosses the railroad tracks, which have to be, in this case, the other two lines. So in this problem, really, one way to think about it is that Olive Street is your transversal, and the railroad tracks are your two parallel lines, right? They say they're parallel. What is the measure of angle one? Well, this angle right here is what? That's 30 degrees. So this is a vertical angle right here. So that's also 30 degrees. I don't even know if that's going to help me. I just, I always start plugging in my vertical angles right away. And angle two, what's that going to be? Well, if angle two and 30 degrees are on a straight line together, so that they add up to 180, so I'm going to label angle two as 150 degrees. And then I think, um, I mean, we have more than enough now to figure out what angle one equals. If angle 30, if this angle here is 30 degrees, then this angle, this is, I'm running out of room here, sorry, this angle has to also be 30 degrees. They're in the same relative position, they're called corresponding angles. So if that's true, they're both 30 degrees, and then angle one, this angle right here, and our green angle, our 30 degree angle, need to add up to 180 degrees because again they're on another straight line. So I would say that angle 1 plus, I don't know what this angle is, we'll call it angle 3, plus angle 3 need to equal 180 degrees. And we know angle 3 equals angle of 30 degrees. We said that right from the start, they're corresponding angles. So if that's the case in our equation, instead of angle 1 plus angle 3, we could say angle 1 plus 30 degrees. They're equal, right? Angle 3 equals 30 degrees. So what plus 30 degrees is 180? And then the answer is angle 1 has to equal 150 50 degrees. All right, hope that helped.